Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus bridged the gap. He bridged the gap. He bridged the gap so that we would have eternal life. He shed his blood on Calvary, on the cross, so that we could have eternal life. He gave his whole life so that we can have life. I want to show you this bridge right here because it's a very good word picture of what Christ did for us. And if you see this bridge, it goes across, way across, to the other side. Now if this bridge was not here, Nobody would be able to get to the other side. They wouldn't be able to drive to the other side of this bridge. And that's what Christ did for us. He was the bridge. He hung between heaven and earth, gave his whole life, shed all his blood. He took the beatings and the whippings and the piercing of his hands and feet and the mocking and the slandering and everything he took for us. I want to tell you today, those of you out there that don't know the Lord or that are just in a false way, being a false teacher, false preacher, false prophet, you know, the Lord bridged the gap. And the best thing for all you people to do is fall down on your face and repent before a holy God. And let him cleanse your sins. So you remember, the next time you think about Jesus Christ, you think about him as like this bridge because he has bridged the gap between us and the Father. Between death and life, I mean he's given us life by his death and resurrection. He's the resurrection. He's the life. All life flows from him. All life flows. And he's an example. He died for us. And he wants us to die to ourselves so that he can flow through us. The bridge. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.